just so people know whose voice is whose, uh, say your name and what you do. Whoever wants to go first. I'm Sven, I'm Sven Pippian. I play bass with the Magpie Salute. And, and I'm Mark. I play guitar. Well, just to start, what does it mean to each of you that the core of the two of you and Rich are back together? What kinds of emotions and memories are being conjured on stage and off? Well, <laughs> all kinds of magic. Um, yeah, it, uh, it, there was so much history between us and so many layers of that history that uh, it's kind of overwhelming at times, but usually channels itself to being a very good, powerful musical energy. And I, 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 I'm having the time of my life, I'll put it that way. <laughs> and what about you, Mark? Uh, it's, I mean, so far it's been really just all good, you know? And uh, we just decided before it started that, it, that the only thing that really matters is that the music is some of the best music we've ever been involved with. And whatever it takes to to make that happen is, is, is what uh, is, takes of us, you know what I mean? Do you, for you, Mark, do you look at this as kind of a full circle thing where you have this new platform with, with old friends? Sure. I mean, you know, music is a very, so ingrained in every other part of my life that it, it's hard to separate the two. When friendships are on hold or relationships or music or bands or whatever, it's hard not to mix it personally with, you know, just whatever might happen professionally. You know, or maybe it was. Who knows? But you know, after a while, you start to confuse the two and realize that, that you know, if you can get past the personal stuff, that it's worth it for the professional stuff. Sometimes. Do do both of you see any kind of rebirth in how you approach music and also um, just what it means to be a professional musician? Um, I mean, I do. Yes and no. Only as much as I do. Sort of tend to watch changes in my life otherwise you know everything changes so it's just a matter of negotiating those those changes you know making it all as smooth as possible because you know we'd all be obsolete if nothing changed ever what about you Sven? I would add to that that the energy reminds me of the energy of when I first got into band as a kid mm -hmm. just the positivity and the, uh, the boundless possibilities of, of everything you know like uh, the difference being we all have all these miles under our belts and so we're just uh, that much more appreciative and understanding of what it actually takes to to make something like this work and so we have the, that youthful excitement except we're not youth <laughs> yeah well it's it's got to be one of those things where it just it feels good to to know that you're doing what you love but at this point now you you, you have a lot of freedom in, in your choices of what you can do for sure that's what that's part of what keeps it new to me I think you know I don't think any of us uh, are coming at this going like well you know how did I do it before I mean you sort of do just like how does the song go you know but beyond the bare frame of it um, lyric and melody you know which is built into all the parts really to some point I mean other than that um you know, that's how this band's going to be its own thing, is, is to be able to have its freedom to, to interpret things the way it does. Well, um, I guess starting with Sven, um, what does it mean to still have these friendships this many years later with Mark and Rich, and that you're still at this really great stage of your lives where you, you all have your families and you all have the music and the past, but also this really new future? Well... Uh, it, it's it's amazing. I'm I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I've I've known Rich since we were kids. Uh, he was 14 and I was 17. I've known Mark for some years as well. And just to 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 be able to get back together and play without all the baggage. I mean, you know, obviously we have all these experiences. So there is just naturally some some life baggage, but um, it just uh, like I was saying earlier, just it just feels like we're starting all over in some ways and and. But leaving uh, a lot of negativity behind, and we're all very conscientious of that. It's we, were, you know, we're traveling with a huge group. <laughs> you know, we've got uh, you know ten people plus all the crew, and 
but everyone is uh, is on the same uh, kind of emotional um, on the same emotional page where we're just very positive. And so if, if, if negativity seeps in, it's just very obvious right away, and it usually is makes it obvious that you're the one that's bringing it bringing it into the situation. Yeah. So I'm just uh, I'm, I'm really fascinated by what's happening. It's a uh, it's the most positive thing I've been a part of in, in a very long time. Like well, I said, since I was a kid, really. I would definitely say too. You, there's probably a lot of lessons learned from the past that are being applied to you today. Every day, you're, you're so right. I mean, every day something hits me like, oh, okay, that's why that is, or that's why this is a better way of going about it. And you know, maybe maybe I should look at myself to blame before I start pointing fingers at other people. Because <laughs> anyway, it's just. Uh, <laughs> Well, for you, Mark, what does it mean to, to, to still not only have these friendships, but also still create together? Um, well, first thing I thought was kind of like having your cake and eating it, too, you know? Uh, I mean, it is a long game, you know? That's one thing that young people don't understand. And I sure as hell didn't understand. I want it now, and I want it to be done with it now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, I want it all. And... As you get older, you realize not everything that happens. It's great that happens immediately, you know, and usually the things that happen too fast are going to be gone too fast. Well, I, th so, I think understanding the long term vision comes with age, you know? Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, I've heard it. I've heard it. I've heard it. Like, yeah, 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 I get it. But until you make it, <laughs> you go, oh, damn, that was a long time with it. You know? And anything can turn around in that distance, you know what I mean? It's like, um, I just, you know, I learned. That's a big lesson for me is that, you know, take your time and be cool and keep things right that are supposed to be right. Another thing is that, you know, when you're young, you almost expect that anybody you're with has to be like you. And just, it's like, you don't have to be the same people to, to make music together. In fact, it requires you to be different people. Well, it's one of those things where you instead know? of looking at it as something you're pushing against, that you can embrace it as a yin and yang type thing. Well, yeah, I mean, you can either celebrate each other's differences or you can hate each other and pick on each other for them. And, you know, which one's going to be easier living situation, A, and which one's going to create better results? Yeah. Well, we probably can... both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, cool. with, with, with the Black Crows, regardless of where everybody stands um, these days, at the end of the day, there was still a lot of great music and memories that were made. And I'm curious, uh, with each of you, what is the legacy of that band? Well, to me, the thing that is the most humbling, and, and it also gives me a reason to do it besides selfish ones, is that there, there literally is a generation or two of people that have grown up, and, and the music that I got to make with my friends is their music, meaning that's the music that they came... Um, of age too, which is the music that stays your music forever. Yeah. What about you, Sven? You know, what the, the day you die? Oh yeah. Well, uh, what's the legacy of the Crows for you, Sven? Well, I, I kind of have to agree. I mean, I, I love these songs uh, on a personal level, and I found my own place in it. But just with age uh, and, and seeing what it means to other people, uh, makes it. Uh, it make, makes me really appreciate what, what we're doing and what it means to people, you know. And um, I see their faces, and it reminds me of the faces I would make when I was a kid listening to my heroes, you know. Um, and so it's, 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 it's gained a value that maybe I didn't see before. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously the Black Horse, I was I always knew was a big popular band and all that, but <clears throat> just uh, the depth of meaning that it's brought to people's lives, I think, is something that I'm just discovering and appreciating on a, on a different level. Well, um, um, the response has been amazing in these few shows that we've had, and you can just see what it means to people. For for you, um, Sven, um, what is something you've learned about musicianship and maybe life itself from Mark, and then Mark vice versa? <laughs> well, it's one thing I've learned is I a lot of the parts when I wasn't uh, you yeah. know there's there a few few years where I was playing without Mark um, in the band. Um, and and I realized that with him missing, I was always trying to almost emulate him in some ways. When one of the guitar players might not have done some of the same lines, and you know, obviously I'm just playing bass, so I can't do what Mark does. But but just some of the feel, I just realized now that he's back in the band, I have to kind of <laughs> pull back on that, so I'm not copying him. <laughs> <laughs> 
What about free? It's, it's, it's it, huge influence on me. I just didn't know <clears throat> it was the case. Really. Hmm. That's funny. Yeah, there's. Uh, I mean, you know, some of this is there's been so much time, and I don't know if it's me or if it's Rich playing. You know what I mean? Like, also the fact that we learned how to play together in such a heated furnace. You know, our styles are sort of birthed together in a way, and it translates to all the instruments really that I don't know our our living our lives and our things became so entwined and so intermingled that it was hard to tell who where one stopped and one started you know yeah, yeah. um the, the, I mean I I I've, I've learned some practicality from Sam just to, <laughs> as life lessons cuz I'm a little bit more jump at the trigger than he is and uh I think that that's maybe what I meant earlier. That if we, if you can stop, you know, focusing negatively on each other's differences and learn from them, then, then it really creates a better society. You know? What memory um, for each of you sticks out the most when you think of Eddie? <laughs> it's literally a flood of memories. There isn't one. It's 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 the whole thing, and it, and just saying, yeah, no, nah, yeah, no, nah, yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> I think about him all the time. I, I hear a record, and I'll go, "Man, you hear the way that that person did that?" And I'll go, "Like Eddie taught me that. I, that happened last night." So Eddie creeps in all the time. Yeah. Well, my final yeah, question oh. is sort of what's driving a lot of this. I'm sorry, uh, oh, I just no. want to say that, that that Eddie, even though he's not part of this, uh, you know, in, in a living sense at this point, his his spirit and his uh, his enthusiasm for what was about to happen is is, is the enthusiasm that we're still driving on. So he's he's with us every day, at least at least to me. Well, that that video coming home, that opening clip of him talking, what he says, at least in my interpretation, was exactly what the band's based on. It's almost I wouldn't say like a victory lap because there's so much more to be said and done, but it's almost like this. Um, two-way street appreciation to the people in the crowd and how how awe-striking it is that you know 30 years later there's just as many people interested in what you're doing and it's it's mind-blowing like i last night rich said it you know there's a there's just been this sense of standing on that stage and looking at people standing in the audience it's like he said it's like wow we've been through a lot together haven't we <laughs> it's almost yeah. it's almost like you, you you're in the you, you bounced out of the storm and now you're standing on solid ground, you know? Yeah, but I mean, even even the audience, you know, yeah. even even our fans, like, we've been through 30 years together now, you know what I mean? It's like, phew, that was pretty heavy. <laughs> what the next thing. Um, well, my final question is, uh, what is a life for each of you uh, performing music and traveling the world and interacting with people of all backgrounds what has that taught you about what it means to be a human being? Oh, man. Well, there's not much difference at all to any of us, really, when it gets down to it. That's it. That's actually really good. That's a good way of, of watering it down, yeah. I mean, we're all, we're all trying to do this life for the first time. We only get one chance, you know, and, and you realize that people are just actually much more alike than they are different. Um, and traveling is one of the best ways of seeing that. And playing music... It would connect people, whether you speak the same language or, you know, have the same beliefs or not. Music will connect. And so I think we're just a little bit closer to the notion that, yes, all human, humans are, are, are connected indeed. You know? um, and maybe we see it a little bit before the rest of humanity. And, and our basic needs are all the same. And, you know, besides that, it's just decorations and style. So, like, let's appreciate each other's style and that. Well, it's you one know, of those things where I feel like we, we have more... We love and fight each other. Yeah, it's it's like I feel like we have more in common than what we're told, you know? Exactly. Yeah, I need to eat, and you need to eat, and we both need a friend, so let's work it out. Yeah. 